Now, Remy, Forbes magazine has spent a massive amount of money and time researching successful people. And what they continually find is that successful people, uh, all, all successful people, basically they learn from mentors or mistakes. Mm -hmm. In fact, there was an article written uh, called Why Entrepreneurs Need Good Mentors. Uh, mm -hmm. This thing came out November 14th of 2013. Mm -hmm. And they wrote, a good mentor is a direct yet supportive. It's no use if a mentor softens his or her, his or her language to make you feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. A good mentor is direct yet supportive. Even difficult messages can be delivered in a supportive way. The best mentors often deliver uh, or offer a practical, timely advice and encourage you to take action. Mm -hmm. Who have been your mentors so far for your company, Cook Time with Remy? I think um, I think I have had a lot of mentors while growing my business. I mean, uh, there's my mom. She's probably one of the most like effective and important uh, mentors that I've had. I mean, she's been supported. She's been on this roller coaster ride with me the whole entire time. Does your mom ever tell you stuff you don't want to hear but you need to hear? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's that's what a mentor has to do. You can't just like tell them. You can't omit the information that you need to know. Yeah. And so it's like telling someone you don't need to drink water. That's like, what's the point of that? Yeah. So I mean, um, my mom has been really a great mentor. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, I've also seen a network. I've met Teen Entrepreneur Network. Um, I've met these tiny teens. I mean, they're only a few years older than me, but they also, they've learned from their journey of being an entrepreneur. So I think they've been also great mentors. And then as well in the kitchen, I've learned a lot from a lot of the chefs uh, I've met. Now, your mom was uh, you know, in the business world for years, mm -hmm. and so she kind of is interesting because she understands business, but she also understands being a mom, mm -hmm. and she also understands cooking. I think it's been a neat, neat fit. Mm -hmm. Now, for someone watching this that doesn't have a mentor, uh, my advice for you would be, one, go on to these Thrive episodes and watch as much as you can from people who are doing what you want to do. Because if somebody's already been there, it's a great, you mentioned these teen entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. they've already been there, and so they can show you how they got up the mountain. Mm -hmm. I think that's really um, exciting. Um, as far as you know, mentors and, 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 the, and the power of these mentors, um, it seems like you've set up some strategic partnerships mm -hmm. there. Um, can you, can we kind of go through those real quick? You have Whole Foods, right? Yes. And they sell you, you sell the, your products in their stores. Mm -hmm. um, you have Sodexo. Mm -hmm. that you're uh, partnered with. The, uh, walk me through some of these groups you're partnered with and why you're, why you're doing that. Well, whenever I did my uh, cooking series, Culinary Kid, I had um, partners with, I partnered with Thermidor because I used their kitchen as like, well, I used their appliances. Thermidor, and, mm -hmm. really? I did not know that. <laughs> and then also um, I worked with, uh, I work with Metro Appliances and more. And so they're the place that housed my, my set basically for the show. Yeah. Because that's where my kitchen was. Yeah. And so I had a partnership with them. So I promoted them. I did like, um, I did commercials for them and I did commercials with uh, Thermidor. And so it was, it, with partnership, you have to both gain something from it or else it's not a partnership. Can you repeat that again? With a partnership, you have to what? You have to both gain. You have to have, it's like, it has to be a win-win situation. I want to make sure if you're watching this, I think we have, we have a culture right now. It's, it's not just now. It's, it's been forever. But the idea is a human, right? We want to take. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to, uh, you know, hey, can I borrow your shirt? Hey, can I borrow your pants? Hey, can I borrow your uh, uh, car? Can I borrow, hey, can I borrow your pen, your paper? Can I borrow, can I borrow, can I borrow, can I take, can I take? But we never think about building a win-win. Mm -hmm. But you have these sustainable relationships where mm -hmm. you are making a commercial for this company and they're letting you use their kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's like a win-win. Mm -hmm. Now, have you always decided to make it a win-win? Have you and your mom decided, hey, we're going to make this a win-win? Well, the thing is with partners, basically, they're interested in your success. So you both are aiming toward the same thing. So, I mean, there's not really, like, you both want to get something from it. Napoleon Hill, uh, my favorite success author, talks a lot about this. And I know growing up um, without a lot of money, I know a lot of people who thought, well, you, the key to getting success, uh, being successful, is just to be a hard negotiator and to try to take as much as you can. But you're mm -hmm. saying that you want to build these win-win partnerships. Mm -hmm. Well, if you build partnerships and they will last a long time, then they can help you for a long time. So mm -hmm. they're going to help you get stronger. And also, your partner can also be a mentor for you. Like, mm -hmm. they can help you grow as an entrepreneur and they can help you... Um, they can help your business grow. 